everyone. John Chow here from JohnChow.com. And welcome to Driving with John Chow. Just dropped off Sally from school. Right now at the supercharge station. Topping up the Tesla. And uh, going to be the start of a beautiful day. You know how I know that? Because like I do every morning. This morning I, I got up. And uh, I was check. Actually what I do. I check out my stats. And already uh, I'm past $10,000. And in terms of online income. So uh, not bad. It's only like right now 7.40 a.m. So can't wait to see how the rest of the day turns out. Uh, I may do an update video. Update video on that, on that a little later tonight when the day's over. But uh, start of a good day. And uh, what I want to do with this episode is um, I want to answer a, a fairly common reader email. I mean, I get this like, I guess every, every few days I would get it. And I, it always strikes me as, mm, I would say, interesting that I would get such an email because basically the, the question is, can I do this business from insert name of city? And believe it or not, I actually get mostly from Nigeria. <laughs> can I do this business from Nigeria? It's, uh, it's quite common. Uh, I guess because maybe because Nigeria has a not the best of reputations in terms of, you know, doing business I suppose so I guess and I guess certain companies I, I guess a lot, a lot of, there's a lot of, quite a few things in the company that doesn't do business in in those countries but here's the thing uh, online you know, I'll answer your question yes you can do business for Nigeria in fact you can do an online business from anywhere in the world the only limiting factor is access to the internet itself so if you have access to the internet in other words if you could email me with that question, that means you can do the business from wherever you are. As long as you have internet access. And while I, my, well, the majority of the time I run my business from here, you know, I, am, I do travel a lot. So, you know, you see me with video, when you see me making videos from other cities, or you see me making videos from Costa Rica, some of you see me in Europe, uh, China, Asia, that kind of stuff. The thing is, while I'm, while I'm at those locations, I can run my business as long as I have access to the internet. So that is really the beauty of internet marketing. That is the beauty of internet business, the location freedom. Now, you know, I talk about the dot-com lifestyle, three components, time freedom, money freedom, location freedom. And by far, one of the best benefits is the location freedom, the fact that I'm not limited to one place. Unlike a, having a, unlike a typical bricks and mortars business, like any of these businesses around here. They're trapped here. They're, they're stuck here. The owner has to physically go to that location to do things. He can't say, you know, I feel like running my business from Fiji today. He can't jet off to Fiji and run, your business, run his business from Fiji. Whereas with an online business, if I want to, I can run my business from Fiji. I, I can run my business from Costa Rica. Uh, next week, I'll be running it from Las Vegas. Right? So it doesn't matter where you're from. Can you do business? Can you do business? From where you are, large internet access, yes. Now, it can be a little more difficult, you know, depending on some countries. Like in case of Nigeria, the reason, the the reason is a little more difficult to do business in Nigeria versus the United States or Canada or Europe, is because, uh, well, credit card transaction mostly it is, Visa, Mastercard, they they list certain country as high risk, low risk in terms of risk factor, and apparently Nigeria has a a fairly high risk, and as such. It may be tough to get merchant accounts. Like it may be tough to get a Visa account or a Visa merchant account so you can process transaction for your online business. And if you can't process transaction, that's going to be pretty bad. And I believe, I'm not sure, but PayPal may not do business in Nigeria. That also quite limits you as well. You know, you can't take PayPal. So, yeah. However, if you're an affiliate marketer, in other words, if you're just, a, you're just promoting advertisers' product and getting a commission, like which is what, most of what I do, like when I send customer to Amazon, I get a commission. I send customer to Aweber, I get a commission. I send customer to Mobile, I get a commission. So I don't have to worry about merchant merchant accounts. So I don't have to worry about setting up a Visa or MasterCard. I just send the traffic, and if they buy something, then I get a commission. And as long as those companies are willing to do business with your country, you're fine. You're fine. Right? And in the case of Mobile, we're, we're, we're worldwide. We, we, do, we do business in every single country in the world. Um, so that's how it, is. it doesn't matter what country you're from, you can do it. Now, I know there are some, some other network may not do business in that country for 
the stated reason, like I said, because of risk factors. Um, they don't take credit cards there, that, that kind of stuff. But in the majority of case, the biggest advantage, or one of the biggest advantage of the dot-com lifestyle is location freedom. And location freedom is one of the features of having an internet business. So if, if your idea of starting a business is not to be tied down and you want to own the business instead of business on you, like you know, most of the, most businesses, most business owners are not really they're not really owners. They don't actually own the business. The business owns them. See, I, I've been in that situation before. I discovered the internet. I own a regular bricks and mortars business. Regular bricks and mortars. I mean, I I look good. I smell good. I mean, I had a location. I had capital equipment, employees. All this. It, it, I mean, it looks like real business, right? People people were impressed. But the bottom line is. Uh, six days a week, twelve hour days. It was not good, not good. It wasn't wasn't the freedom that a lot of business owners would imagine. And you ask most business owner, he said, you ask most business. I said, this is telling. If you ask most regular business owner, what do they like most about about their business? You will you will rarely, if ever, hear anyone says, it gives me freedom. Next time you meet a business owner, ask them that. You will never hear the answer, it gives me freedom. However, I can tell you honestly, the internet business gives me freedom. And that is what it's all about. John Chapel, John Chapel com. Thank you for watching. Give me a like, a thumbs up, subscribe to my video, and I'll see you guys on the next episode.